Okay, my name is Diana Nagama Rich. I'm the project coordinator of the Creative Industry Program at the Indian Ocean Commission. The Indian Ocean Commission is an intergovernmental organization which have as a member state the Madagascar, Mauritius, Comoros, Seychelles and La Réunion. So it's the first time that uh, the Indian Ocean Commission is working on the cultural program. In its culture uh, project that we run since 2023, is uh, about the cultural policy, review in the cultural policy and intellectual property. So basically what we're gonna do is to have an analysis of the cultural policy in the 13 country that we have, because we're working with the Comesa as well. So nine countries are coming from the Comesa and four countries are coming from the Indian Ocean. So we'll have an um, analysis of what is existing, where is the gap, and also to strengthen the capacity of cultural practitioner and also the state partner uh, on the implementation of those policies. The gap that you have noticed in the creative industry is like uh, the some country has a cultural policy that are outdated, so we need to update them, and most of them are not implemented, or the institution that are supposed to implement the the policy on itself are weak, so that's where we come in to strengthen the capacity of those uh, uh, institutions and also to strengthen the capacity of cultural practitioners on those, uh, for example, the copyright uh, law. Also something that we have noticed is um, uh, most of the policy separates the heritage side and the business side. And when you talk about creativity, a creative economy, we need to bring the two together because when you talk about creative industry, we're talking about the value chain of the industry, which is creation, uh, production, distribution and diffusion. But you also talk about the individual, which means the statue of artist, which is important also for us. And then you're also talking about the artwork, which is linked to intellectual property and the copyright. So all of those components of the industry need to be taken in account. And all of those components need to have policy to work together, not I, like, as a silo. So that's things that we would like to achieve uh, with this project by providing um, analysis, recommendation and capacity building. To be part of the ZIF is for us very important it's to build a um, network with the actor, the stakeholder, like uh, for example, working with the CDA, the cultural development in East Africa, or working with EVAS and other organizations that are doing a very great job, like ILUM, and to also learn from them, because uh, that's something also very important, like there is a peer exchange and uh, um, good practice that we can have.